it's up to you what you do, but I'd shave it down and flatten it with a hammer. Oh, hello. My name's Greg. I'm here to talk to you about sandbag.org.uk, the new website designed to tackle climate change head on. In order to do that, I'm, I'm joined by a member of the public, the man on the street, if you will. Hello there. Hello, Greg. We've never met. Oh, sorry, stop it, stop it. Hello there. Hello there. So you're the man on the street? Yes, I am the man on the street, hello. Hello. Now, can I ask you first of all, what do you understand by the term climate change? Uh, it's absolutely nothing. You must have understood. No, you must know something about it. No. No, you would have read something, I'm sure, about it. Mm. Climate change? Global warming? Oh, no. Stop. What do you like about the environment? Uh, the woods. The wood? Woods. Oh, woods. What do you like about woods? Well, uh, you can play lots of games in them. And, um... and what if the woods weren't there? What if all the trees in the woods died? Well, I'd go to a different woods. What if there were no more woods? What if there was just a scorched planet? That's the all, all that was left for your children and your children's children was a scorched planet. Beach volleyball, I like beach volleyball. Do you love beach volleyball? Stop the camera. So regardless of, um, regardless of which country you live in, ultimately... The cows are to blame. The cows aren't to blame. I mean, we spoke about methane briefly, but the cows aren't to blame. There's no such thing as bad cows. What about this then? Uh, Can you um, stop the camera? You're really making me angry now. You know that, don't you? Do you know what the environment means? The word, the environment. The environment as a word. Do you know what that means? It's something to do with dolphins. So, so now we see why climate change is a negative thing, do you? Why is it a negative thing? Because you hit me. Yeah, apart from that. Okay. Let's talk for a while about alternative energies. Yes, let's, please. Uh, let's start with wind power. What do you think about wind power? Oh, no. What do you mean, oh, no? What does oh, no mean? What's wrong with wind power? Well, it's quite dangerous, isn't it? Because um, if you pull a face and the wind changes, you'd be... And, uh, no, you're not a hand. to the energy companies, of course, the mm. amount of carbon that they're releasing. It's terrible. Yes, that's quite bad. And then there's, you know, cars. Mm, terrible. Well, I, I don't drive. Right, but it doesn't really matter that you personally don't drive, mm. because the, there are millions of people who do drive. Mm. So I failed my test. Right. Stop the camera. Okay, so let's move on quickly to what sandbag.org.uk actually does. I'm going to try and explain this to Marek, the man on the street, in as straightforward a way as I possibly can. Yes. Marek? Hello. At the moment, large companies uh, across the UK, well across the world, but we're dealing with the UK initially, uh, companies in the UK emit carbon, which is a negative thing for the environment, mm. a bad thing for the environment. Uh, they are given permits by the government, okay? Mm. The government give out thousands of permits, mm. all right, to the companies. Now, Sandbag's plan is to buy some of those permits back or to cajole companies into giving some of those permits back. Cajole. Cajole indeed. Um, so that less carbon ends up in the environment. I'm going to explain that in an even more basic way using this plate of delicious biscuits. Oh. Marek, I presume you love biscuits. Yes, I like them. We all do, don't we? Mm. Let's imagine that you're a big old factory. Then. Ah, ah, not yet. Oh. Let's imagine you're a big factory. <laughs> We could probably just imagine that you're a big factory. Oh. Okay. Now, what a factory needs biscuits. is a lot. Yes. It's fuel. Fuel for their factory. A lovely big old plate of biscuits in this case. Yeah. Mm. Now, you as a factory, I imagine you'd love one of those, wouldn't you? You'd love a delicious biscuit. Well, I'm a biscuit factory. Well, that's fine because look, I'm the government and I'm giving you lots of biscuit permits. Oh. Okay. So there you are. You, uh, uh, do you want a biscuit? Yes, please. You'll have to give me a permit then. Oh. Thank you very much. Perfectly acceptable. 
you have that. Oh, well, that's delicious, isn't it? Mm. Oh, you want another one? It's another biscuit already. Okay. Having another one already, are you? Well, I'm not hungry, but well, you are a hungry factory, aren't you? Have you had enough yet? Not really. No, because factories never have enough, and they keep using their permits. And what happens if uh, the factory carries on eating biscuits, Marek? Mm. There's no more biscuits. There's no more biscuits. And what happens to the big fat factory? The get sick. The factory gets sick. So, at Sandbag, we say, oh, hello, Mr. Factory. Hello. Uh, would you mind if we had some of those permits back? No. Mm. That'd be all right, would it? Oh, thank you very much. Or maybe if there's a spare one, we could offer you a few pounds for it. Oh, thank you. So we'll take those permits back. That's great. And we'll keep them at Sandbag. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. What are you doing? You can't have a biscuit. Why not? Because you haven't got any permits. Oh. Uh, you can't have a permit. Why not? You've given them to Sandbag. I don't know what was going to happen. Well, maybe you didn't, but that's what has happened, my friend. And guess what Sandbag are now going to do with these permits? Eat them. Eat the biscuits, you imagine. Mm. Wrong. This is what Sandbag is all about, ladies and gentlemen. We remove the permits, Marek. Mm. We remove the permits from circulation. You can't have a biscuit, you haven't got a permit. No one else can have a biscuit because they haven't got a permit. Do you understand? Mm, sandbags sound like a bunch of arseholes. Do you understand? Yeah. Not everyone is as stupid as Marek. No one on the planet is as stupid as Marek. Have a look at sandbag.org. Have a look at sandbag.org.uk. See how you can make a real difference to climate change. No kissing. Bye. Uh...